how would you change the text of a button once it's clicked? You could actually double click on this button right here and put in the text save. And then once a user clicks on this, we want it to say save again. So here on the on select, we're going to go in here and if on select isn't already selected for you, there's a shortcut up here on the menu ribbon. You can click on action, click on on select and it will automatically select that on select item for you. OK, now you go in here and we're just going to create a normal global variable. You could use a context variable if you know what those are. If you don't know what context variables are, I do have a video for that. I'll link it to you below. But here I'm just going to create a normal global variable. So I'll say GBL for global and I'll say clicked and we'll set this to be true. Okay. Now I'm going to double click on that variable there and hit control C. Now for this text property over here, I'm going to click on text over here on the right side and then up here where it says save, I'm going to set up an if statement. If it's click. Now, this variable will hold a Boolean value, either a true or false, yes, no type of value. If you're not familiar with those type of values, I do have a whole video that covers Boolean values. So there's no need to say equals true because this variable will return a true or false value. So I'm going to say just global clicked. OK, if it has been clicked, I want to say save again. Otherwise, if it hasn't been clicked on yet, I'm just going to have it say save. OK. All right. So I'm going to run this. I'm going to click on it. And of course, it sets it up and it's just going to say save again. OK, there we go. Also, there is something else that we could do instead. Hey, if you're getting anything helpful out of this, a comment or even a like really helps the channel. And that's people like you know this is good content. Much appreciated. I'm going to copy and paste this button by using Control C, Control V. We could create a toggle. And if you're not familiar with toggles, I have a whole video that covers toggles, but I'll cover it here just momentarily. And I will say global toggle. And what we can do here, this global toggle will hold a true or false value as well. OK, but instead of just setting it to true or false, what we can do is reference the same variable and we could just reverse a, a Boolean value. So if it's true, we can change it to false or if it's false, we change it to true by using a bang operator. OK, by putting exclamation point there. Uh, if you don't like that, you could always use not, which does the exact same thing. OK, and then what we could do is. Uh, for this text property, I can just double click on this and say toggle. All right. So let's also add something to the screen. Let's add um, a icon. And we'll set up this icon to appear and disappear based on that toggle value. So I'll scroll down, find the visible property, and I'll set this up GBL toggle. So I can show you how that works. So a toggle, so it sets it to true, click it again, and it's going to be false. Guys, for some reason, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video next. Let's see if they're right. Or you can select this playlist, which I've selected for you based on the content you're currently watching. Guys, got to hurry. Click one of them. Otherwise, YouTube's going to autoplay some other video, which you probably don't want. Thanks. <laughs>